Let's talk about space. Can we talk about space? I like talking about space. I feel like people have been talking a lot about Mars these days. Pretty sure I'm not the only one who's noticed. Like we discovered water on Mars, I feel like pretty recently. And then we had that movie with Matt Damon where he got stuck on Mars. But even though we landed men on the moon like almost 50 years ago, like we haven't sent anything but space probes to Mars. And I'm like, what's the deal? Personally, I've been fascinated by space travel my whole life. Um, that's just me. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life, you know, for somebody to go to Mars. Efforts to send astronauts there have actually kind of ramped up in the last couple years, if you pay attention to that stuff. But what if I told you there was a pretty sizable chance that you, the person watching this video, or someone you know, uh, will eventually go to Mars sometime in your lifetime. Not just astronauts, you. I'm not saying it's a huge chance, but it's probably a lot higher than you think. Psh, nobody's trying to go to Mars. There's nothing but like a dead cold rock, like literally a desert. There's nothing there. Why would anybody want to go there? Okay, obviously there's nothing there now, but I mean, in California, in the Western US, like way back in the day, there was just desert, you know, but there's like millions of people living here now and like bustling industry. Just because nothing's there now doesn't mean it's gonna stay that way. This is the game changer though, because SpaceX, like one of the biggest, most notable aerospace companies in the country, they just dropped plans like last week to make an interplanetary transport system that can eventually get a million people on Mars by the end of the century. Basically, they're planning on making a bunch of huge rocket ships that can take like 100 people at a time to Mars. I'm like a crazy nerd for this stuff. This is really exciting for me. If you wanna know how it works, I'll put a link in the description to like a quick load of animation showing exactly what they're trying to do. Like it's legit. The reason I know it's legit is because the CEO of SpaceX is this dude called Elon Musk and he is like the real life Tony Stark, dead serious. He's a billionaire with crazy resources and technology. He created PayPal. When they sold that, he got like $165 million. After that, he made SpaceX, and SpaceX's plan is to literally make life multi-planetary in case Earth gets hit by an asteroid or some natural disaster, you know? He's also the CEO of Tesla Motors, which arguably makes the best electric cars in the world right now. I've read a book on this guy. He makes like crazy claims all the time and people never believe him, but then eventually he proves them wrong. He gets it done. Bottom line, I trust this dude and the people that he works with. They're gonna get it done. So if everything goes well, like in a couple of decades, you might be able to buy a ticket and go to Mars for like the same cost as the uh, average house. It's expensive, um, but everybody's got at least 15 years to grind hard, hustle, and get their money up. So no excuses, all right? Get your paper. So a trip to Mars is gonna be available to anybody who can afford it within this century. And that's kind of crazy to think about. So if you're alive for most of this century, that would be, I think, a lot of people watching this video considering my demographics you could potentially go or someone you know might go or maybe your kids will go I don't know I just like making predictions I want the people in the 2070s looking back on my old videos to be like oh my god he was so woke so you really think people are gonna go to Mars huh? yeah thousands of people actually want to go okay but those are like weird spacey people you know like no normal person is gonna want to go to a desolate barren oxygenless cold planet you can't look at Mars as it is now like in a couple of decades there might be like a nice mall there or some other cool stuff I don't see it so you wouldn't go to Mars nope wouldn't do it but gravity is 30 as strong as it is on earth like you could jump really high wouldn't that be fun to do okay whatever you telling me you wouldn't want to play a game of basketball on mars just to see what it's like no i wouldn't okay but would you watch a basketball game that's played on mars Hmm. This is actually a huge reason why I think a lot more people might go to Mars than you would think. Views. Views. The internet basically runs on views, as we all know. People want to make viral videos. Companies make advertisements and put them in your face because they want to be seen. Everybody wants to be seen. So many videos on YouTube and just links in general are like clickbaity. Like they sound interesting because interesting things get views and views make money. Money makes the world go round, people. I feel like the very fact that a lot of people would want to watch something done on Mars, like a basketball game, it means that somebody's eventually gonna do it. Somebody's gonna recognize that opportunity. Somebody's gonna go there, film the video, upload it, and get the views. This potential Mars colony that we're talking about is like way in the future. But since it's in the future, just think about how many vloggers and like content creators are gonna be around by then. All this social media stuff that everybody's doing now is what, 10 years old? That isn't gonna go away in the future. It's only gonna escalate. If people go to Mars, there's gonna be like an entire new source of digital content. It's gonna be unlike anything the world's ever seen before. Everybody's gonna be looking at Mars and everybody who goes to Mars is gonna be looked at by everybody on earth. You'll be able to pull up your phone, tap on somebody's Snapchat or whatever they use in 2050 and just look at what they're doing on Mars. And it's gonna be interesting because it's another planet, right? I'm gonna watch it, I know I am. And you are too, don't play. This isn't the 60s when we went to the moon and had that terrible grainy footage. We got 4K cameras on a smartphone today. This is brand new stuff. You're gonna see Mars selfies, Mars videos, like Mars virtual reality experiences. You think about this stuff? If you go to Mars, you're gonna get views, period. 
and everybody who's making social media stuff, content, blogging, is gonna know that. It's like supply and demand, I feel like. And this is obviously way in the future. I mean, there's no way I can really know exactly what's gonna happen. There's all kinds of complications when it comes to interplanetary travel that I don't have time to talk about, and I'm pretty sure you're not even interested in. I'm also assuming that by the time we're able to send people to Mars, we haven't been like taken over by artificial super intelligence, robots haven't died in like a natural disaster related to climate change or anything. But if all goes well, by 2065, when we're all senior citizens, it might just be a normal thing to take a trip to Mars, you know, just for a little R&R, &R, a little vacation. I don't know. That's what I think. What do you think? You trying to go to Mars? You down for that? I actually might do it, I think, if it's safe and if it's, you know, nice and cool and I have like $200,000 lying around in 30 years. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe as always. I'm done. Ceiling Titty. Uh, but for that YouTube quality, I've got a Canon 70D right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Apparently, it's one of the best, you know, multi-purpose cameras that all the big YouTubers use. I don't, I don't know. I just googled this.